New to PowerTrace in CorelDRAW 2020 is the Adjustments tab. Here you'll find two new AI-assisted features that will deliver amazing bitmap-to-vector trace results. These cutting-edge image optimization options help improve the quality of the source bitmap while it's being traced. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. In this example, I want to create a vector image from this photo of a frog. There are some JPEG artifacts in the background and along edges as a result of dithering or JPEG compression. In the bitmaps menu, there are options to remove JPEG compression artifacts as well as upsample, but these options are also now streamlined directly into the power trace process. With the image selected, I'll choose Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, High Quality Image. With the default settings, the estimated tracing time is listed here, and the color progress is indicated here. I'll maximize the Power Trace window to better view the before and after results. In some parts within the background, the artifacts stand out in the tracing. I'll click OK and move the tracing results down here for comparison. Now I'll select the bitmap again and start the same power trace. The new Adjustments tab is where the bitmap quality options can be found. I'll start by checking Remove JPEG Artifacts, and the curves of the background are much smoother than before. This is the same result I would have seen if I had previously removed artifacts as a separate step and then traced. The upsampling options are Illustration and Photorealistic. I'll switch between the two to see which results are more suitable for my project. I'll keep Photorealistic and click OK. I'll move the second tracing result next to the first, and the differences are clear, particularly throughout the background and along edges of the frog. Once I have a set of vector curves, I can make changes or add effects. For example, I can open the Color Styles Docker, drag the trace results to create a color style and generate a harmony, click a color to open the Harmony Editor, and create new versions of the frog image. The new adjustments options also work nicely for bitmap versions of digitally created images. With this Lotus Flower bitmap selected, I'll use PowerTrace for a high quality image. With no adjustment option set, there are some jagged edges. I'll click OK and move the result just below. I'll trace again, this time using illustration upsampling, and the resulting edges are much smoother. As with the previous trace, there is still some white background remaining, so I'll open the Colors tab, use the eyedropper to pick up the white pixels, and click Delete. Here are the two trace results side by side, with smoother edges in the second set of curves. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on power trace adjustments in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.